Human circulation is an important topic for the biological science section of the MCAT. In particular, the MCAT focuses on the differences, the structural differences, between fetal circulation and adult circulation. Before we talk about those structural differences, however, it's important that we understand the physiological basis for those structural differences. In the fetus, gas exchange does not occur in the lungs. Rather, it occurs outside of the fetus at a structure called the placenta. Furthermore, blood purification and detoxification does not take place in the fetal liver, but rather also takes place in the placenta. Therefore, as a result of these physiological differences, the fetal circulatory system has been structured differently to accommodate for these physiological differences. Let's take a look at these structures now. The first of these structures is the ductus venosus. The ductus venosus is a bridge that connects the umbilical vein, which is returning oxygenated blood from the placenta to the fetus, to the inferior vena cava. The ductus venosus connects the umbilical vein to the inferior vena cava. As it does so, blood that is oxygenated coming from the placenta mixes with deoxygenated blood that is traveling through the inferior vena cava. This mixed blood then enters the right side of the heart into the right atrium. Now in the adult, blood that is in the right atrium would pass into the right ventricle and then would pass through the lungs. But remember, in the fetus, the lungs are not the site of gas exchange. So we want to divert as much of this oxygenated blood away from the underdeveloped lungs as possible. One structure that allows for this is what's known as the foramen ovale. The foramen ovale is a round hole that sits in the wall that separates the right atrium from the left atrium. Blood is directed from the right atrium into the left atrium. And remember, this is oxygenated blood. Once it's in the left atrium, it then passes through the left ventricle and then through the aorta and then to the body of the fetus. A small amount of blood remains in the right atrium. This blood is pumped into the right ventricle and then out of the heart into the pulmonary artery. Now because the pulmonary vasculature is undeveloped at this point, there's a high resistance to the flow of blood through it. There is a connection between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. It's a bridge and it's called the ductus arteriosus. The ductus arteriosus allows for blood, oxygen-rich blood, to pass from the pulmonary artery directly into the aorta without going through the lungs. These three structural adaptations, the ductus venosus, the foramen ovale, and the ductus arteriosus are essential to proper fetal functioning. The physiological differences between the fetus and the adult necessitates these structural differences.